Uh, we got Christian Burks. He's from Detroit Cash Tech High School. Christian was the second team Wall City behind uh, Dennis Norfleet. Uh, Christian is also finished second last year in 100 at 10-6. Christian is not very tall, but he's very fast. Christian rushed for 2,095 yards, 15 touchdowns, average uh, around 100 and some yards uh, a carry. As you can look at it right there, I don't think that's speeded up. <laughs> but Christian, he's, he's small, he's tough. He's about 175, 180, and he runs the ball real fast. I spotted Christian last year as a junior, and a lot of people told me that's a guy we need to uh, take a look at. He's not what you would say a typical back in size, but he has a lot of heart and a lot of speed, and he plays hard. He led uh, Cass Tech to a 13-1 uh, year and uh, uh, took him to the semifinals of the state. Christian Burke was on the team that had a lot of D1 athletes. I think he's a D1 athlete. He slipped to us, and uh, we're very happy we got him. Somebody will be blocking for Christian. Nate Feeker, 6'5", 285-pound offensive lineman tackle uh, from Lakeland High School. Uh, recorded 23 pancakes this past fall. Was all-conference and Detroit News um, all-metro first team. Uh, the great thing about Nate is he's right now only 17 years old and will not be 18 until the season is going on in se late September of next year. <clears throat> Very physical run blocker. Comes off the ball. Gets his hands into you and, and looks to take you to the ground every time. Real excited about Nate. Again, adds a lot of size for us. You see him playing defensive tackle here a little bit. Might have to put him in on goal line defense. <laughs> so left tackle here. Finishing the block right there. Ethan Walsh is a tight end from uh, Salem High School. Uh, Ethan played middle linebacker for the Rocks. He played tight end. He was the punter. He was he basically did everything. Did everything he could possibly do. Uh, he was also the kicker. Uh, I saw Ethan play as a junior. Really jumped off. He's the middle linebacker here. He'll be making the tackle. Really jumped off the field to me as a junior. Very versatile player. He's the punter here. He had uh, one of the worst long snappers of all times. So sometimes you had to do this, pull it down, and run around the edge. That, that works better than a punt anyways, right? He's flexed out at the bottom here. This is him running a go route at 250 pounds. Ethan's a three-sport athlete. He throws shot and disc, plays basketball, blocks the, the defensive end like he does there on the football field. We're incredibly excited to have a versatile player like Ethan. Mike Sawchuck out of Lapeerius High School, um, coached by Jake Weingarts, who I'm sure a lot of you guys know the name. Jake Weingarts was a captain here a few years back. Uh, played quarterback, played DB, a physical kid. He's got great size. He's all a 6'2", rangy. Um, played quarterback. He's playing quarterback in these clips, so you'll see he's got real good top-end speed, can, can really break on the ball in the secondary. Didn't get to play a lot of defense this year because he uh, was the guy at quarterback and they didn't want to get him hurt, but saw some junior tape on him from defense, had him in our seven on seven, and like the kid, he gives us some good size in the secondary that we don't have a lot of six two guys, so I think he's going to be a nice addition. You can see he's got real good speed to stretch the field. He's going to be a governor scholar here, so he got some academic money, real good student, probably going to go into medicine. Here he is playing quarterback again. And Coach Weingarts assured me when he dressed up as a scout team tailback that saw Chuck could, could bring it. So, uh, Jamil Williams is a kid from Lima, Ohio. Lima is about two hours south of here, right down 75. Uh, he's going to play corner for us. Really excited about this kid. Uh, Three-sport athlete again, plays basketball, runs track. Real good size for a corner. Both the corners we signed are going to be <coughs> playing offense here. Both the corners we signed are 5'11", 6-foot guys with, with good size, good frames. This kid has real good speed. Um, saw him in a couple camps this summer. Real good at playing press technique, bump and run. Here he is playing offense again. He can return kicks for us. He can't catch punts, though. 
<laughs> the thing he's playing he's still on offense here. You'll see him play some defense. He's physical uh, for a corner. You know, he played safety here as a junior, played corner as a senior. Real good ball skills down the field. Really willing to come up and tackle you a corner, which a lot of high school kids aren't. But really think he's going to help us with his <coughs> size and athleticism. Zach Balecki, 5'11", 185 pound safety from Macomb Lutheran North. Uh, he was the 2010 Macomb Player of the Year. I kind of did it all for, for the Lutheran North. Offense, defense, played running back, played a little bit of wide receiver, uh, punt returner, kick returner. Uh, and a very, very good athlete, kind of led the team all over the, uh, the field into the playoffs. Um, Zach's a great kid, smart, very uh, with the academics, presidential, wants to go into med school, um, come, he's playing safety here, come downhill and hit you, plays the ball in the air really well. Uh, we've been recruiting Zach since last spring, and, and a couple of coaches have seen him at camps, and we've seen him in games, and real excited about Zach and what he's going to bring here to Wayne State. Ryan Hankins, Ryan's out of Davison, Michigan, defensive tackle, 6'2", 265, probably 6'1", 265, um, that was his recruiting numbers, but uh, big strong kid, um, loves football, is really the first thing that stands out, you know, he's one of those kids that all he wanted to do was play college football, played defensive end and, and five technique and an odd defense, he'll play R1 technique probably. Uh, bench is 370 pounds in high school. Um, he's wrestling now. Just really wrestled this year just to try to improve his feet and his hands and all that thing that directly correlates to D-line play. A good student, and he's been a three-year starter for Davidson. He's going to play in the East-West All-Star game in Michigan, which is the big game in Michigan. I think it's at Central this year. In the past, it's been at State, but he's going to play in that this year. Brandon McKay Lee is out of Detroit Southeastern. Brandon is an interesting get for us. Brandon uh, uh, <coughs> played as, as a junior, started as a junior with uh, Detroit Southeastern, and then going to his senior year, he broke his collarbone. So he was only able to play in five, ga I mean, four games this year. But as you can see, Brandon will come up and hit you. He's what we like as a corner. He's more, he grew a little bit. He's 6'1", close to 6'1", and about 180. So he's a, a physical uh, cover two type corner, come up and hit you. And he got uh, real good ball skills, breaks on the ball. Now, this is all from his junior year. So, Mike, uh, Brandon's going to be a good player for us. Mike Smith, 6'2", 230-pound linebacker from Holt. Very physical linebacker, presidential kid. Um, wants to go into engineering. A team leader. Again, you'll see some of the clips here of him coming up. And very physical. And, and uh, you know, one thing that Coach Slammer from Holt said is he's definitely a, a leader. Um, Gets the team going, makes sure people are at workouts, and we're, good. we're real excited about having Mike. David Howells from Westerville South High School in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, he's uh, played for a very, very good Westerville South team that's produced multiple uh, NFL and Division One athletes over the last few years. One thing that Taven's tape uh, will show you, this is him intercepting the football <coughs> here and returning it, is not only is he a competitor, is he a, a very football-minded kid, but they used him as a blitzer a lot. And anyone that's seen our defense knows that we blitz quite a bit. So it was important for us to go out and get linebackers who are uh, used to pressuring and blitzing. And that's, that's what he does. He's all about football. Plays with a ton of uh, excitement, passion, blocked uh, three kicks this year. There's two of them. He's a, he's a very exciting get for us. Uh, beat all, uh, really, the rest of the GLIAC on this young man who was excited to come to the uh, city of Detroit and go to school here in Detroit. Rafat L. Hag, uh, interesting picture. Rafat's from Etzel Ford High School in Dearborn. He's a Lebanese uh, young man who grew up all over the world, came to the United States in the eighth grade. He speaks five languages. 6-1, uh, he's very accurate at 312 right now. The thing uh, about Rafat is uh, you very, very infrequently see such a large individual move as quickly as he does. 
He really emerged as a senior. He was a disruptive force. A lot of the other coaches in the area said they didn't know what to do with him. He's an incredibly nice young man, and I'm sure this highlight tape, maybe this play specifically, wouldn't show you that. But <laughs> uh, he's got a ton of potential. We're incredibly excited to have him a part of our class, and he's excited to be here. Thank you.